Free Play. Hey you guys, it's Jen with Let's Get Chalkin' with Jen, independent designer with Chalk and Tour. As you guys come on, please make sure you say hello to me. I would love to welcome you. If you are catching me live, you will see the big red live box in the upper left corner. That means we can chat live right here on Facebook. If you're catching me on YouTube, you guys, please make sure you subscribe to my channel for all the fun crafty videos coming this summer. And if you guys are watching on Facebook, I would love it if you would share my video. In the bottom left corner of your mobile devices is a share button. The greatest compliment you could give me is a share, you guys. Um, so just hit that button, share it with your friends, share it into groups. If anyone is in my VIP group, if you could please share this video into the VIP group, I would greatly appreciate it. And you guys, hi, happy Monday. How's everyone doing today? It is Monday. It feels like a Monday. I feel like somebody is sitting on my head. I'm having one of those days. Like I'm not, I'm in a good mood, but I'm not, I'm not gentle. Like it's just, and I just said that, but like all through here is super tight. It's chilly here today. Um, hey, Michelle, how are you? So it's just one of those days, but I had to go live because I haven't, didn't get to go live for you all yesterday. So today we're kind of like going to do a design of the day. Hi, Tina. How are you? Now, for those of you who don't know, like I said, my name is Jennifer Jones. I am an independent designer with this really cool company called Chocotour. I'm going to throw this up here real quick, you guys. We are a DIY home decor and crafting business opportunity. Hey, Sandy. Hi, Sophia. Welcome. Hey, Katrina. How are you? Hope you're doing well. We have a DIY home decor and crafting company, and you won't find our products anywhere else, you guys, except through designers like myself. We have really cool silk screen reusable transfers, and we're going to see that today. Hey, Marty, welcome. We have our Chalkology Chalk Paste, and we have Couture Inks, and again, we're using those both today. We do offer several surfaces like chalkboards, beautiful white Odette boards, box wood frames that are the bomb, you guys. Love our box wood frames. We have canvas banners, we have canvas pillowcases, but our products can be used on so many surfaces. Wood, tin, glass, canvas, metal, dry erase boards, t-shirts, dish towels, the list can go on and on. Hi, Miss Jennifer, how are you? And then we do have all the tools that you need to create as well, okay? Now, I do have to tell you the best thing that I can offer to you is a DIY home decor business opportunity, you guys. I know I talk about this on every live, on every live that I do, but Chocotour changed my life, you guys. I, I can honestly tell you it changed my life, and I love being able to offer that to other people as well. If you are a crafter or not, this is something that could be in addition to your income. It can replace an income. Um, it could be something that grows into something more. You guys, we are available in the U.S. for $99 and in Canada for $129. So if you're interested in learning more about that, if you want to chat with me um, about the opportunity, just give me a hashtag join below and then we will set something up to get you more information. And this is our current startup kit. But you guys, I I fell in love with Chocotour a little over two years ago and I'm telling you it's it's totally life-changing all these beautiful things that you see behind me they are all things that I have created with Chocotour I have made some amazing friendships we have a huge team of women that are just they become such great friends I mean it is truly life-changing so if you want to learn more about that let me know and I would love to help you with that okay so let's get this up on my screen whoopsies throw that up there real quick we are going to do two designs today with one transfer. Now remember, our transfers are reusable. You usually get anywhere from eight to 10 uses out of one transfer, which is awesome. So you're going to be able to do things like I'm doing today, and you can even do more. So we are going to make a t-shirt today, and we are going to change out this design. Our chalk paste is water soluble, semi-permanent. Goes on wet, dries as a solid, you guys. Touching, feeling, totally not coming off, but I'm going to get this off of here and I'm going to show you that later. This is also one of our gorgeous chalkboards that we offer. This is our Aiden 9x12 
What I love about this is it's a porcelain steel magnetic chalkboard. So this is one of the higher end ones that we offer. So look, magnets go right on there. So just think of all the cool things you could do with that. And these were the little hearts from the Club Couture that we had done that I made. So super cute. So I'm going to set this aside for right now because we are going to start out with our t-shirt so that this way I can show you what we do with both of these different types of surfaces. So my t-shirt is just a t-shirt that I got from the Hobby Lobby, you guys. I like this t-shirt. I like the, the little stripes on the end. So that's why I got this t-shirt. Not going to lie. Um, and I like the way they fit me. So you can get a t-shirt from wherever you want. Amazon has some great t-shirts. Um, Walmart has some really awesome t-shirts. I buy a lot of their t-shirts too. So I didn't wash mine or um, dry it. Some people can, you know, some people choose to do that, but I did not. So I'm just getting it in the position that I want it. Okay. Then I'm going to take my ink mat. Now we sell these. Remember I said we do sell, ooh, that lighting is horrible. Let me see something really quick, you guys. Let me, let me see something really, really quick. Let me kind of just, did that help a little bit? No, not really. It's the lights above. Oh gosh darn. Those lights above are just, ugh. Sorry about that, you guys. Wanted to see if I could fix it. Maybe it's just the reflection off the mat. We'll see. So this is an ink mat that we offer. I love these, they are reusable, they come in two different sizes, but if you don't have one, you guys, you totally could put something else underneath there if you wanted to. The reason I love ours is for this right here. It's got an adhesive side to it, and it helps prevent, oh yeah, look, now it's gone. See, that's awesome. And it helps prevent any bleed through if you should have a thinner fabric. And of course it says Chalk Couture, which is awesome. So I take mine and fold it in half when I'm doing a t-shirt. Now, if you're doing like a smaller kid's t-shirt, you're not going to want this big one. You're going to want the other one that we have that you can cut apart, okay? Or you can leave it. You don't have to cut it apart. But the other one I like because you can cut it to size. So I'm just going to get my ink mat inside of here where I want it. I'm going to play with my t-shirt because remember, there is an adhesive side in there, so it's kind of sticking to it already. So I'm just playing with this so that I get it where I want it. But that's what I love about this is the fact that it does have that so that I can smooth out my surface, you guys. So I'm just gonna take my hands and go across it and smooth this out so I have a nice surface that I'm gonna be able to ink on. Hey, Tanya, and it's also not gonna move like, cause I've done it on cardboard before and sometimes your, your um, surface, underneath, surface underneath will move. So I'm just smoothing that out just like that, okay? So we are gonna use some ink today. Super excited, haven't done this in a while, right? It's been a couple, couple weeks. Taking my drink, you guys. Oh my gosh, so we started kickboxing this is our second week we're doing kickboxing going really well but they put you on the meal a meal plan and they're making us like they're not making us they're telling us to drink a, a really nice like protein shake and I found these really good ones at Sam's Club or not Sam's Club Costco and they're really good and it's chocolatey and I am a chocolate fanatic so I'm super excited so anyway sorry went off on a tangent I do that um, you guys, on the back of all of our transfers, it tells you how to prep, peel, fuzz, apply, remove, heat set, which we are going to do because we're using ink, and then clean up. And I'm going to show you how I clean my transfers because we're going to use this one twice today. All right, so our first step is writing on the back. So how's everyone doing today? Happy Monday. Anything exciting going on this week for you guys? Anything you want to talk about? I'd love to talk with you. We're gonna be on here a little while. So I like to take my finger, rub it over the edge. I flip it over and remove my transfer from the carrier sheet. You guys, I'm doing this just because it's easier for me. You will find a way that works best for you. If you forget to write on the back, not a problem. Just remember the shiny side, do you see that? That's the side your transfer will go back on when you are done with it, okay? 
So I'm not fuzzing this one up because it is going to go on a t-shirt. You know what? Let me see really quick. I want to see something. It's pretty sticky. I might add a little bit of fuzz right onto my corners just so that it's a little easier to get up. You don't usually have to fuzz when you're doing anything on fabric. Okay. So then I'm just going to take my transfer and place it where I want it. Now I don't measure, sorry, I'm not a measurer, measurer, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I, I don't measure. I'm kind of using my uh, V-neck as my center point. Okay. So I'm just going to take this and place it where I want it. And I'm going to use this. This has a nice line right here. So I'm going to kind of go off of that guide to make sure that I'm even. Put that in the center. Make that even. And then I'm just smoothing it out so there's no air bubbles in my silk screen. Okay. From Newtown, PA. Yeah, Kim, I know. My parents were telling me not so bad today. Not so bad. My, we're from Pittsburgh originally. And then we moved to Flemington, New Jersey. And now we are in South Carolina, which is where we've always wanted to be. So, yeah, they were telling me about that, Kim. But welcome and thanks for watching. So when I do ink, you guys, here's what I do. Okay, this is just my personal preference. I do try to go over the areas just a little bit more just to make sure my edges are down. Okay, so I kind of press over this just a little more making sure I don't have air bubbles under there, okay? And I'm not worried about this over here because this is where I'm gonna pull up. Right, Sandy, isn't it cute? Okay, so there we go. Now we are gonna use inks. So I am gonna get myself a paper towel. The inks are permanent. Oh, cool, Kim, awesome. Hello, Miss Sandy, I love it too, I love it too. Perfect timing. My transfer will be delivered on Wednesday. Where do you buy your shirts? I want to. Oh, you want snow. You live in Oklahoma. You want snow, Jen? You know what? I miss snow. I'm not going to lie. I do miss it. Um, but I don't mind not being cold. Like, I'm okay with not being cold because I am always cold. I am that person that is always cold. Um, Marty, I got this one from um, Hobby Lobby. But I have to tell you, Walmart has some great t-shirts too for like four bucks. Seriously. All right, you guys. So our inks come in 30 different colors as well. I'm going to be using our white and our storm ink for today. Okay. Oops. I don't think this one's open yet. It is not. I'm going to get my garbage can to take my little. When you get a new ink, it does have the cover over it. Jennifer, do you like to ski? Oh, better than tornadoes. Amen to that. And hurricanes. I, I'm with you on that one. Oh, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> that had two. It didn't take the, off the, the wonderful. And my nails are too thick. I can't get in there. I'm going to grab my handy dandy scissors, you guys. Yay, stuck it right in there. <laughs> Oopsies. Yeah, let's not cut yourself, Jen. That's smart. And I hate when I do that. I hate when I talk to myself in the third person. Oh, I was just talking about that this morning, and I hate when I do that. <laughs> All right, so let me take this off of here, you guys. Give me one second. I'm going to take this off and throw this right in the garbage. Right there. I made a mess of myself, so let me clean up my fingers. Is it beautiful today? What's your weather? Oh, nice, you guys. Are you both from the same state? Did I not realize that, really? I feel really dumb now, but I did not realize that. That's awesome. It's in the 50s here. It's in the 50s here today. It's not, it's not warm. That's smart, Tina. Absolutely. That was smart. Okay, I got it off my fingers. All right, so here we go. Your ink is always a little different consistency. 
I still like to stir mine up to get those big pigments blended, but it is definitely a different consistency than your chalk paste, okay? The other thing with your inks, you guys, is they are permanent. So please be very careful with them. Like, make sure your fingers are clean because you don't want to get it anywhere else, okay? So I'm just stirring that up. The other nice thing with inks is that you do have a little bit more play time with them. Chalk paste dries pretty quick. The inks do not dry as quick, okay? So I've got those stirred up. I'm gonna go ahead and get my small squeegee and my mini squeegee for this, okay? So you guys know we have several different squeegees, so I'm gonna use both. I'm gonna take my storm and I'm just gonna, again, apply pressure, you guys. You're applying pressure, doing it the same exact process. Be careful of where you're putting your train or your squeegee so that you're not gonna go outside of your lines and you don't wanna get it on your shirt, okay? So I'm just scraping that across my silk screen, just the same exact process, okay? I'm actually nervous. I haven't done this in a while. I used to ink all the time. I used to say I liked inking better than chalking. But I haven't done it like I used to. Just like that. I don't know, you guys. I'm ready for summer. I want to be able to go down to the beach and, like, actually get in the water. Because right now it's still really cold down there. Okay, scraping that across the silk screen, just like that. Any excess goes right back in your jar, you guys. You don't need to leave excess on there, okay? All right, I'm wondering if I can try to maybe do a... Uh, 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 uh. Is there a... I don't have it. Okay. I was thinking of trying to make it look a little bit rusty, but I don't have the color that I'm looking for. So then I'm going to take my white and again, just scraping it across that silk screen, you guys. Just like that. And I'm going to have to be very careful up through there. So I'm going to do all of this and then I'll come back and do my, my tea so I can focus. I got it. Me too, Jennifer, me too. I really get, I need to get, I need to get some more thieves, Jennifer. You guys, Jennifer sells um, Young Living Oils. They are amazing. Um, I love the thieves, so, you know, I just, I need to get some more of that. I love the smell of it. It is just simply amazing. I love to diffuse it, and I am out. I am out, out, out. Oh, I hope I didn't get it in there. Oh, gosh darn. Oh, gosh darn. I hope I didn't get it on there. If I did, oh, well, it's okay. No biggie, right? No biggie. All right, scraping off my excess, you guys, goes right back there. Squeegees are going to go in the water, so here we go. Let me move my jars of ink out of the way. Put the covers on them. Actually, let me get these. Oh, look, you guys. You guys know where you get. That's awesome. See? Friendships made from chalk. I am telling you, it is life-changing. Life-changing experiences happen with chalk -Ator. And I am making a hot mess of this ink. Look, I, I got it on my jars and everything. Okay, so I've got to put this aside because if not, I'm going to get it on myself and then I'm going to get it on my t-shirt and then I'm going to be really sad. Okay, so here we go. Okay, remember, top to bottom, left to right, you guys. Never corner to corner, okay? Get this started up here. I just want to make sure I don't... Oh, gosh, you guys, check it out. Look at that. When I peel my transfers off, when I ink, I do not rip it off like a Band-Aid. I take my time and peel it off because there's no rush, you guys. 
But oh my gosh, look at how amazing that turned out. Okay, I'm sticking that in water. I'm gonna pull that up here in a minute to show you how to clean it. But look how awesome that looks, you guys. What, what, look at that. I'm gonna hit it with a hairdryer really quick. And then I'm gonna put this aside for a couple minutes and we're gonna do our other design. We're gonna clean our transfer. So I'm gonna show you guys how I clean my transfer. But I don't know about you, but that looks like a t-shirt, a graphic t-shirt that you're gonna pay a lot of money for, right? Oh my gosh, that looks so cute, you guys. So, so cute. Okay. So like I said, I am going to set this aside for a second. So I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to leave it just like this for right now. Okay, so now we are going to clean our transfer. So here we go. Let me bring up my tray. Okay, so here's my tray. You guys see my tray of water? My transfer is right in there. Okay, so what I do, I'm just going to move it around with my little little bubblies that are on the bottom. I'm going to try to get off as much as I can. Then I'm going to take my board eraser. Let me pull this over so you guys can see. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to take my board eraser and then I'm going to wipe it off in my water to get off as much as I can. You can do this in a sink. You can do this in a bathtub. I use these little tin pans. They come in so many different sizes, you guys. Okay. Then what I do is take my transfer out and I'm sticking it on my towel, okay? Just like that. All right, I just wanna wipe off my hands just like this. I'm then gonna get, I like Clorox wipes. Everybody has their personal preference, but I do like Clorox wipes. I'm going to take my wipe and I'm going to clean it off. The other nice thing about the board erasers too, you guys, is this. If you would use like certain colors, like blacks, orange, red, they have really, really high pigments in them. So what's really nice about the um, board erasers is that they will also take out a lot of the staining in the transfers. But if it does stain, if your transfer stains, it's not a big deal, okay? This also helps with taking all of the fuzzing, the little fuzzies off. I don't know if you guys, you probably can't see that as well, but my t-shirt had some fuzzies on it, so it's helping take that off. Take that off there, just like that, okay? So that is how easy it is to clean up your transfers. Now, here's the deal. We do need this to be dry before we use it on our other surface because we are gonna be using chalk paste and you guys know that chalk paste is water soluble and semi-permanent. So I'm gonna sit this over to the side again. I'm using a towel to help dry it off. Hey, Miss Patty, welcome. That's okay, Patty, You're, it's okay, totally fine because we're not done with the other design yet. It's, it's over here to the side. You'll get to see it here in a second. And we're gonna get just getting ready to do our next one. All right, so I'm just drying this off with a towel and I'm gonna set this aside. All right, so here we go. Hey Stephanie, how are you? Let's do our next one. So, this aside, remember I said paste is water soluble semi-permanent. This is our beautiful Aiden chalkboard. So I'm gonna actually take this off because I don't want that on there anymore. I'm going to put that aside. I'm going to take off our cute little magnets that we made for Valentine's Day. And remember, water soluble semi-permanent. So here we go. Check this out. Using our little Mr. Bottle, you know, our Chocotour Mr. Bottle because we had all the tools that you need, right? Spraying this down with a little bit of water. Water reactivates that chalk paste, you guys just like that. And then I'm doing good, Stephanie, doing good. Got a little bit of a headache today, which is I think the weather. All right, I'm gonna take my brand new tool called a scraper. This is our new scraper, you guys. 
This thing is so amazing. Are you ready for this? Love this. You guys, check it out though. It makes removing your design so much easier than it used to be. Now we are still gonna use our board eraser, okay? But check this out. Just like this. Oh my gosh. You guys need one of these. I am telling you, you need this tool. It is amazing. Amazing, amazing. And I'm just going to clean that off. Okay. Put that in a little bit of water. Clean that off. And I'm done with that. I'm going to take a little bit of paper towel right now to get off all this excess water and stuff and then I'm going to pull up my board eraser oh my gosh that is like the coolest ever and boy am I dumb I stuck my t-shirt right on top of the garbage can lid. <laughs> oh sometimes I don't think all right let me get my board eraser and again we're going to go over it just to make sure there's no shadowing or anything like that left over and our board eraser helps clean up all the excess, right? Just like that. So now each and every season, you guys, you are going to have a new surface to chalk on if you wanted to. You could leave it entirely up to you. But if you want to change it out, if you want to have like a monthly crafting club with your girlfriends, totally can do that, right? Totally could do that. And then you just bring your chalkboards back each and every month and you change out your designs. How fun would that be? I love doing workshops, you guys. Workshops are my favorite thing to do. Okay? So check it out. Brand new surface, right? Totally easy to change out. Okay. So I'm going to bring this back because here's the deal. Like I said, I need to make sure this is dry. So I'm going to take my fuzzing cloth. And I'm going to put it on there. And then I'm just going to go over the front of it now to make sure I get any, like, excess water. Jennifer, you clean it right in water. So, honestly, it's sitting in a tub of water back here behind me. And then I will take it over to the sink and just rinse it out a couple times. That's exactly how you clean it. And you use it over and over again until it's just about falling apart. Okay? So absolutely love the board erasers. So you hear how sticky? Did you see how sticky that is, you guys? That's the other thing about a Clorox wipe. It reactivates that adhesive on the back of there. So I just want to make sure I get this nice and dry and fuzzed up to go on our chalkboard. Okay, so I think we're good. I think we're good. There we go. She's all fuzzed. She's still pretty, pretty sticky. Let me fuzz her up again. Fuzzing just helps for you to be able to remove it from your surfaces, you guys. Um, if you are going to be chalking on like plastic or definitely glass, make sure you fuzz up your transfers really good. Okay, that feels good. All right, so here we go. Put this right there. This would be cute in a bedroom or in your living room. Maybe you've got a she shed. Bathroom. It'd be cute in your bathroom. So again, just smoothing it out so there's no air bubbles. Okay. We're going to use some similar colors. So I'm going to go with our white for the country girl again. Then I'm going to use our storm. And then I'm going to use a little bit of bark for this one because I want to try to give it a little bit of rust. Like I've done that before with the vintage truck, so I'm going to try it on here too. So just to kind of give it like it's got a little bit of rust on it kind of a thing. So let's see. Let's get our chalk paste stirred up. Remember chalk paste over 30 different colors as well. Um, water soluble, semi-permanent. That's why you are able to remove your designs. Now your chalk paste, you want to make sure you stir them up to get all those pigments blended. And then I like mine to be a nice yogurt sour cream consistency. If for any reason it is not, 
you just add water. You just add water. So see you guys, this is what's really cool about our transfers. They're reusable, right? You could make gifts. You could do so many different things. Maybe you wanted to make t-shirts for you and a few friends. Just, it's just so amazing. So amazing. All right, so I have Bark, Storm, and White as our chalk paste. Um, I use the, it's right here. Hold on, I'll show you. Tonya, this is the wax I use. It's a Min Wax Finishing Paste in Natural. Okay, that's the one I use. There are several waxes out there. You'll find what you like best. That's the one I really like best. All right, so here we go. Now remember, you've got to work quick now because this is the chalk paste. So I'm going to get a nice gob of chalk paste on here. And again, I'm scraping this across my silk screen. I'm laying it on just a little bit thicker because I don't want it to dry as quick. When you start to thin it out to scrape off your excess, that's when it starts to dry a lot quicker because it's hitting the air. Okay. So I'm just going to hurry up. Go like that. Okay. Just like that. Excess, remember, goes back in your jar. You don't need a lot. Okay. So I'm going to try to work quick here. So don't mind me. I'm concentrating. I got to make sure I get this off. I want to add a little bit of the bark to give it a rusty look. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to take my finger, you guys, just like that. And I'm going to just rub it over some spots. Just random spots, okay? Just like that. I want to just kind of try to give it a little bit of rust is what I'm trying to do. Like it's got rusty edges kind of things. So I'm just kind of using my finger. So it's kind of like an ombre type of effect. You know what I'm saying? But I just want it to look like it's got like rusty. Rusty, rusty. But I gotta hurry because it's gonna start to dry. So I might wanna pull this up. All right, let's do that. So I'm just gonna keep going here and then I'm gonna pull it up because I don't want it to dry. Okay? It's like a rusty old windmill. Let's see if it worked. It might not have worked. I don't know. Just I'm just trying to push it through there just to give it a little bit different color. Probably worked there because I used a lot. Right. Let's see. Let's see if it worked. It does, Kristen. It definitely helps with making the surface reusable, and it's also to help your transfers on certain surfaces. So, yes. All right. Let's see how this looks. We might have to add a little bit of the bark to give it that look. Oh, no. I think we're okay. Do you see, can you guys see that yet? Oh yeah, I'm liking it, you guys. I like it, it looks rusty. It does, it does, can you see that? I will make sure I pull that up into the light for you guys so you can see it a little bit better once we're done. Oh, it's super cool, it's super cool, you guys. So Kristen, there have been times where I have done, um, designs on wood and when I used the wax it made it so that I was able to get the design off but it's really just for your transfers on those types of surfaces so that you don't wear them out so that you don't wear your transfers out you guys this looks really really good really good okay So then I'm just going to lay this back down gently. Okay. I just need to make sure I get my T back down there. So it, anytime you do like chalk and peel, you just need to make sure you put your transfer back down and you smooth out those areas that you're going to need to chalk on. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm -hmm. Hopefully that didn't go into my T. All right. But it's all good if it did. Okay, so then I'm going to take my white chalk paste and scrape it across that silk screen. 
Look, you guys, no weeding involved. If you've ever worked with vinyl, this takes the guesswork out of it. Just like that. Make sure I get my T up there. All your detailing is already done in your transfers. Just like this. Don't waste any excess chalk paste. Just a little bit more. Okay, excess goes back in your jar. Just like that. Okay. And then let's get this back up. There we go. Perfect, you guys. Perfect. Oh my goodness, you guys. My transfer is back in the water. I'm going to clean that up again so that I can reuse it again at a later time. Getting a surface for my transfers I got. I found a tea cutting board on sale. Oh, that sounds interesting. I would, Jennifer, um, if you're doing two t-shirts in a row... I would just because if there is any ink on the back of that transfer and you lay it down and it's not where you want it and you peel it back up, you're probably going to end up getting a, a spot of ink on your shirt that you didn't want. So I highly recommend cleaning it for sure. Check it out, you guys. Do you see how it looks rusty in these little areas here? That was used like I did. I did like the ombre technique, technique where I went ahead and blended it. Doesn't that look awesome? And it looks like a rusty windmill, right? Super cool, you guys. Yeah, Jennifer, with the ink, I definitely recommend cleaning it just so that you don't get any other ink on there. Now, real quick, I do want to tell you, if you want to make a design permanent, you guys, this is what I use. It's a Krylon sealer. You buy this at, at your local craft stores. It's a clear Krylon sealer. And then you would just spray it over your surface. I recommend doing it outside, by the way, because it's very, very smelly. And then that is what's going to make your um, your sign permanent. Hello, Miss Shaleen. Welcome. Hope you're doing well today. All right. So let me put this aside. And let me bring back up our T-shirt because, you guys, we need to make this permanent, right? We want to be able to wash our t-shirt, dry our t-shirt over and over again. Oh my gosh, do not put your sleeves in the chalk paste, Jen. Oh my goodness. Oh, you guys, today is not my day. Not my day. So this goes here and this goes here, okay? So now what we need to do is we need to make this permanent. So here's what we're going to do. I got my heat press on behind me. Okay, super cute, right guys? All right, so the first thing I do need to do, I need to take the ink mat, ink mat out of my t-shirt because you don't want to heat set this with your ink mat in there or you can ruin your ink mat if you happen to use that, okay? So here we go. These are also reusable. All I'm gonna do is clean this off with water and that'll come off. If not, it'll dry on there and be fine, but we don't want to do that. So I will clean that off with water only. Do not use a Clorox wipe on that, only water. Okay, so I've got my t-shirt. Now, if you do not have a heat press at home, it's absolutely fine. All you need is an iron. Me too, Sandy, me too, because I'm supposed to go to a kickboxing class tonight. And I'm kind of like, oh boy, oh boy. So all this is is parchment paper, you guys. I'm sticking a piece underneath just to make sure there's no bleed through again, okay? Sticking a piece underneath and then sticking a piece on top. So I am gonna use my heat press to do mine. If you were at home and you just have an iron, that's what works perfectly fine. Okay, so if you have an iron, you are going to iron it on both sides with parchment paper for four minutes. Okay, both sides and iron. Okay, you're going to go over it with your iron for four minutes on both sides. 
If you have the heat press like I'm going to use, it takes 30 seconds on each side. So either way. But my point is you don't need to buy one of these. I only bought it because I did a t-shirt workshop and there was like 25 women coming. So I knew doing an iron on <laughs> eight minutes a t-shirt wasn't going to happen. Nope, wasn't going to happen. <laughs> Not happening. So it's just heating up behind me. So you're, if you're using an iron, you're also going to put it on a medium heat setting. And like I said, you'll iron it for four minutes. I'm using my heat press and it's going to be on 350 here in a second. And then we will be able to heat set this. Doo. All right, here we go. And then I'm just going to hit my little button. This is the Cricut heat press. You buy these at your local craft store if you choose to do that. Hi, Anita, welcome. So I'm just going to hit this for 30 seconds. And I like to move it around. Some people just leave their, their heat press still. I don't like to do that. I like to move mine around. Okay. Hello, you guys. Don't forget to share this video with your family and friends, you guys. Spread the love. Sprinkle the love of Chalk Couture. And let them know what this is all about. <gasps> oh, it's so cute. I'm so excited. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this inside out now. I think I'm going to wear this tonight to the gym. Okay. So I'm going to turn this inside out, you guys, just like this. And again, I'm going to put this inside just like that. Now remember, if you don't have the heat press, you just use an iron, okay? Just like that. And here you go. I'm gonna heat press this side. Oh. Oh, what was that? Oh no. I made something go wonky. Okay, just like this. Oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot wait to wear this t-shirt. I hope you love this, but isn't that neat? The versatility of our transfers. We have the ink, we have the chalk paste, things that you can create over and over, you get, uh, you guys. It's just so fun. And I am telling you, it has been life-changing for me. So if you are interested in being a designer, I would totally love to share that with you. Don't forget to give me a hashtag join. If you're maybe on the fence, you guys, and you want to give this a try, we do have a really, really cool program called our Club Couture program. It is a monthly subscription, which is super awesome. So if you're interested in that, just give me a hashtag club and then you can give it a try. But check it out, you guys. I can touch it, feel it. That is so cool. It feels like, it doesn't feel like vinyl. Like it, it feels like it's a part of the t-shirt, which is so awesome. I'll be able to wash it, dry it over and over again, you guys. So again, two really, really great designs using the same transfer, right? This one was done with your chalk paste in storm white and, and, um, bark. And then this one was done with the storm and the white ink, you guys, how fun was that? Two great projects in under 45 minutes, and most, most of the time it's just me talking, right? So if you guys have any questions about Chalk Couture, about the products, please let me know. I would love to answer those for you. I hope you enjoyed this, this little live today that we got to create together. And you guys, stay tuned for some more chalking. I will talk with you soon, you guys. Have a great night.